Hello, I am Dr. Mohan Rao, a practicing gynecologist and obstetrician and a reproductive immunologist. We have our centers, Dr. Rao's Centers for Reproductive Immunology in Mumbai, Nagpur, Pune and one international center in Kuwait. At these centers, we treat couples with unexplained repeated miscarriages, unexplained recurrent IVF failures and unexplained infertility using lymphocyte immunization therapy and other immunomodulatory treatments. Now let's come to our today's topic that is lymphocyte immunization therapy, past, present and future. What is lymphocyte immunization therapy? Lymphocyte immunization therapy is an active immunomodulatory treatment that is used for couples who have repeated miscarriages, IV failures and unexplained infertility. Now what it does, as the name suggests, is in this we use lymphocytes from husband or from donor from their blood. These lymphocytes are separated and they are injected in wife to cause immunomodulation. Now why this is done? How, uh, how does it help? See in these patients who have unexplained miscarriages or IVF failures or even unexplained infertility, the underlying cause can be immunological. By immunological, what I mean is in these patients, the pregnancy is not adequately protected by immune system. Now, why this, this happens? Now, you know that the pregnancy when it is formed is 50% from mother and 50% from father. The part which comes from father is totally foreign to mother's body, immunologically and genetically also. So, the pregnancy is already 50% different. Then logically speaking, our immune system should act against this pregnancy which is foreign to the mother and should sort of reject it. But this doesn't happen. This is because pregnancy has a special immunological protection in mother's body and it grows in mother's body without any problem even if it is immunologically different from mother. So for, but sometimes this natural protection doesn't function properly and then this results in reproductive failure in the form of miscarriages or IVF failures. So for such patients, immunomodulation using lymphocyte immunization therapy is helpful. How does it act? These lymphocytes have a special ability to induce production of certain antibodies called as protective antibodies or blocking antibodies or asymmetric antibodies and this is because of the surface marker CD200 which is there on lymphocytes. So, when these are, cells are injected intradermally, they stimulate the immune system, stimulate the immune response, the T cell and B cell response leading to increased production of protective antibodies and increased production of T regulatory cells and this helps to protect pregnancy. Now, if we go into the history of lymphocyte immunization therapy, let me tell you, lymphocyte immunization therapy was the first immunomodulatory treatment that was recommended for patients who have I had repeated uh, miscarriages uh, which were sort of unexplained and in 1990s it was one of the commonest or the most commonly recommended treatment for couples who had repeated miscarriages. There were various studies which have also shown the efficacy of lymphocyte immunization therapy at that time. Professor Mowbray from London in his double blind study had shown efficacy of more than 80% of lymphocyte immunization therapy in repeated miscarriages. Dia in his study had shown success anywhere between 75 to 100%. Then uh, Dr. Manoj Pandey from Lucknow who is currently uh, settled in Cincinnati, USA in his famous study had shown success of 82% in couples who had repeated miscarriages and who were treated with lymphocyte immunization therapy. There were many more studies in that era that have shown efficacy of lymphocyte immunization therapy and LIT was the main uh, treatment that was offered to these uh, difficult to treat unexplained uh, reproductive failure patients. This was continu this continued till 1999 when a large multicentric study from US came out. It's also called as OBER study or REMI study or recurrent miscarriage study. And this was published in Lancet and it showed that lymphocyte immunization therapy has no role in repeated miscarriage treatment 
and in fact the study showed that the control group had 65% success while the treatment group had lesser success of close to 45 to 46% and this study recommended against use of lymphocyte immunization therapy in repeated miscarriages and subsequent Cochrane review was heavily based on this which also recommended against use of lymphocyte immunization therapy. However, this REMIS study or OBER study had a lot of flaws. Many scientists and researchers came out with their objections to this uh, OBER study. The study, this, in fact, this is the only study till date which has shown a negative effect of lymphocyte immunization therapy in repeated miscarriages. But the study had many flaws. It used blood which was stored for a long time. Overnight storage was done and then lymphocytes were separated. And as I told you, the immunomodulatory effect of lymphocyte is because of the CD200 uh, surface marker. Once the blood is stored, this surface marker gets destroyed. So the blood that was used or the cells that, was, uh, that were used in this study had already lost their immunomodulatory effect which was reflected in the results. One more important objection was this study did not exclude uh, autoimmune uh, problems, patients who had autoimmune problems like ANA positive which also adversely impacted the success of uh, this study and also there were many operational factors like this the dose of the lymphocyte was not fixed, the routes of administration were not uh, uniform and because of these objections there were many, uh, many uh, researchers who uh, said that this study is not valid and should not be considered. However, this, as I said, this became part of Cochrane reviews and it recommended against the use of LIT. But subsequently, more studies started coming. More people started research on this lymphocyte immunization therapy. And in 2016, Liu made a meta-analysis of all these studies. And he showed that the odds ratio of or the success rate of lymphocyte immunization therapy in repeated miscarriages was 3.4. That the success rate is more than three times uh, compared to the uh, control. So it definitely showed that lymphocyte immunization therapy has a role to play in repeated miscarriages. However, he did not include the data from Ober study. So in 2017, Cavalcante did another meta-analysis of total 20 studies which included even the Ober study and still he showed that the odds ratio was 3.22 proving the efficacy of lymphocyte immunization therapy and repeated miscarriages. So these meta-analysis lead to increased use of lymphocyte immunization therapy in different centers and the use started increasing. Now what is the present status? There is a recent meta-analysis which was done in 2021 by Cavalcante which included a new study from by Sarno and it still showed efficacy of lymphocyte immunization therapy more than three times compared to control. And now the efficacy of lymphocyte immunization therapy has very well been established. So this therapy is, as I said, is practiced at various centers like centers in uh, Mexico, centers in other centers in South America, then centers in Europe, especially Germany, UK, on a big way they do this uh, therapy. Centers in Japan, in China, in India, use lymphocyte immunization therapy for their patients in a very effective way and they have shown excellent results of this therapy for uh, such patients. So uh, let me tell you friends that currently the status of lymphocyte immunization therapy uh, is really good. The current guidelines still do not include lymphocyte immunization therapy as a recommended treatment but I am sure in the guidelines which are going to come which will consider studies which are going on now definitely there will be a change in those guidelines. So what is the future of lymphocyte immunization therapy? Yes definitely the future is good because as I said this therapy is effective also, this therapy is safe. Yes, it is a very safe treatment. There are various studies which have been conducted to see the uh, safety of this. And there is a large study by Kling in 2006, which has studied more than 4,000 couples who have given lymphocyte immunization therapy. And it showed that there is no increased chance of anaphylactic reaction. There is no long-term problem of autoimmunity or graft versus host disease. So, these studies have proved the safety of lymphocyte immunization therapy also. 
so lymphocyte immunization therapy has really has a bright future so there are certain things in this area which are still not clear to scientists and researchers what happens when the lymphocyte immunization therapy is given at molecular level is still to be uh, understood well and i am sure with more studies coming into this field and more um, research being done definitely we will get more information about this lymphocyte immunization therapy we would like to share that we our uh, book on lymphocyte immunization therapy it is the first international book on this subject got recently published and this book has been published by none other than springer nature which shows that how important this subject has become and uh, where springer nature has come forward and offered us to write the book so that more doctors researchers scientists and clinicians know about this uh, important treatment modality and with which can be used for their patients in an effective way so friends lymphocyte immunization therapy has real bright future and i am sure in the years to come there will be more and more centers who will uh, start practicing uh, lymphocyte immunization therapy once a brief note about the lymphocyte immunization therapy in us us in the past was the center where the largest number of lymphocyte immunization therapies were done after the oval study the uh, number center started decreasing us fda wanted more trials about lymphocyte immunization therapy so they uh, have put a hold on this in usa and uh, they are awaiting more data so that it can later on be started if possible in usa and the doctors in usa are collecting more data uh, to present it to us fda till that time patients from united states are going to either mexico to europe european countries or even to asian countries to get this therapy done so friends if you see the past lit had a very glorious past over years it it showed various ups and downs uh, because of the oval study and then the ups because of the newer meta analysis but at present it is the use of lit is on the rise acceptance of lit is on the rise and in future it will definitely become an important treatment for patients who have unexplained repeated miscarriages or ivf failures or unexplained infertility which are difficult to treat patients and we can offer them uh, an effective solution in the form of lymphocyte immunization therapy thank you so much